Hello everybody, it's Miriam. How's everybody doing? Today's video is going to be, I'm gonna share some products with you that is great to prevent frizzing on the hair. It's a best anti-frizz kind of products that I wanted to share with you. In my last video, I mentioned that, you know, to when you wanna style your hair after you shower, um, you want to put something on your hair that protects your hair from the heat of the curling iron or straightening, um, you know, irons and things like that. Or even blow dryer can be too hot for the hair sometimes. Some blow dryers are, especially if you're going full blast, it could be very damaging to the hair. So these are the products I use right when I want to get out of the shower. I, I put this on and um, I straighten my hair. Um, just like a uh, very rough straightening before I go in and doing the little uh, beach waves and things like that. So the first product I really love using is by Sexy Hair. I really like using this. It's a hot, sexy hair protector. It's the Prep Me. It's called Prep Me. And it has a picture of a blow dryer. This is great for when I want to blow dry my hair. Right after I shower, I put this on to, before I blow dry my hair to protect my hair from the heat of the blow dryer. And another one that I really like using, this one is by Briergio, and this one is called Rosarco. This is also another heat protecting product that I like using. Um, again, I put this on damp hair and blow dry my hair. I use this even when I wanna um, make my hair with a diffuser, I wanna make it more curly. Um, I even use it for my curly hair days. By the way, remember I mentioned that make sure to get products that are not silicone based. Okay, so this is one of those non-silicone based products that you want to use. And this is great for curly hair too if you wanna scrunch up your hair but you wanna still protect your hair even though you wanna keep your hair natural and curly, you still wanna use a protector. So this is a great silicone free, paraben free kind of product. It's a cleaner product for curly girls hair or if you wanna put something on to protect your hair and just kinda of straighten out and blow dry your hair. So I really recommend that. And uh, another one that, now I don't know these two in particular if they are silicone free. It doesn't say on there, so I'm assuming they're not. But it is a really great way to add shine to your hair. And this one I use, it's called, it's again by Sexy Hair, and then it says Protect Me. And it has an iron on it. Um, this one has a shine level seven, hold three. So it's not a very um, crunchy, your hair doesn't get crunchy and crispy when you use this. It has a very light hold, um, but it's great if you want to straighten you when you straighten your hair, it um, makes it more manageable and it actually keeps the style longer. I found that when I use this, my hair is shinier. Um, it comes in a spray form, so you can spray it on all over first on dry hair and then iron it or you can put it section at a time before you iron each section. It really makes a, a big difference in sh making your hair shiny and looking nice. All right, let's move on. Uh, more shiny products because I have a few more here. I like using leave-in conditioners and uh, this is a great leave-in conditioner that doesn't have silicone in it. It is free from a sulfate and paraben. This one's great if you wanna hold your style. You know, I put this on right after I shower. I spray it all over the uh, hair. I was gonna say face, but, oh, and it is silicone free. This is another one of those products that you wanna use if you want, if you uh, want, um, if you're looking for a good silicone free product, this is another one. By the way, I didn't say the name of the product, I'm sorry. Uh, it's Mark Anthony, it's by Mark Anthony, um, and it's called Bye Bye Frizz. I should say the name before, but, uh, and it's silicone free. So this is one of, one of another one of those good ones. And yeah, I like using this leave-in conditioner after I shower, even though I condition my hair in the shower, I'm like obsessed with condition. I condition, and then I condition, and then I condition again. So it's just, that's just how I like. Um, one more thing, okay, this one is my, my all-time favorite uh, kind of detangler. This, um, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. It's a detangler. Let me tell you what it does. It repairs dry, damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair dam a breakage, creates silkiness. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Enhances natural body of the hair and flat iron um, spray protector. So this is all in one type of spray which I really love it's super high 
high in price. It's like 40 bucks to buy one of these, but it is, it'll last you a long time. And it is, it's an amazing product. I don't think I have found a product that I love more than this for leave-in conditioner. And I really swear by this. I've used it on Ariana's hair and her hair is very straight. It doesn't weigh Ariana's hair down. It's just super straight hair. And it really protects and adds shine to her hair. I love using it on her, especially when I want to detangle. And her, sometimes her hair gets so tangled. You know, kids, they play around and things like that. And it gets really, really tangled. And I put two sprays of this. Wait a minute. It brushes everything out. I love using it on my own hair to protect it. And it's it's, it's just a really, really great product. I can't say enough good things about that product. Even though it's super expensive, it is definitely a must try. They do have travel size, like smaller sizes for 15 or 20 bucks. I think it's 20 bucks. Um, but I think it's worth to have a big one. It'll last you a long time. This one is 10, point, uh, 10 fluid ounces. It's worth to have a big one if you really love it. Just buy $40 worth. Um, of a product that you will use all the time. I think I heard about this uh, in one of the gray hair groups on Facebook that I, I'm, I belong to. And I heard people mentioning this, but I never really wanted to get anything. And then since I've been kind of struggling with the flyaways and shine in my hair, I thought, well, let me just try it. I mean, what do you, I mean, what if it, if it's really good? And I really, really like it. Um, I like it because it adds a lot of shine, but you do have to want to, you want to be careful with this though. It's kind of, if you go overboard with it, it can really weigh the hair down and make it oily. And at the first time I used it, I had, I made the mistake of putting it all over my hair, thinking that it was just like a regular oils that I use. And it ended up weighing my hair and my hair is pretty coarse. So it weighed my hair down and it made it look greasy, oily, like I needed to go wash it again. So you want to be very, um, work with this very sparingly just put uh, one or two sprays on the bottom um you know halfway down on the ends of your hair and just kind of kind of work through or like uh, brush the tips of it first and then brush everything else so you don't get it all over your scalp and stuff or the roots so you don't look like you are you need to go get it take a shower again because you're oily so and um, but i do love this because it is Colored in blue, which is like, it doesn't have those yellow tints and stuff, yellow colors that come in some of the um, hair products. Some hair products have yellow coloring in them, which is not good for gray hair because it'll deposit yellow in the hair. That's why sometimes um, you have to even be careful with the products you use to not add more brassiness and, and yellow to your hair. But this doesn't do that. It's actually made to um, help gray hair and not to, you know, add shine to gray hair. So I really do recommend this. But again, it's pretty, it can go, you know, just be careful using it. Just don't use too much. Next one that I want to tell you about is this spray here. This one is called Perfect Shine Oil Mist. Um, the company is Nature Lab. Um, it, it color and heat protects the hair. Uh, it color and heat protects the hair. Um, it's paraben free. I use it for the bottom of my hair today even to add some shine to it. I feel like this is a really good option for even people with straight hair um, or fine hair. Um, it doesn't really weigh the hair down. It's a, it's light mist. So you just lightly mist your hair. I only put like one spray here, one spray here. Cause I didn't want to, um, make my hair look like it's weighed down. Cause, um, and it works really nicely to add shine and things like that. You know, so if you want to, um, make your hair more, look more shiny and take away the frizz, definitely. Actually, you know what? I'm going to spray it now so you can see how it works. Let me spray it right here. You see how it like tames the hair? You see how it just like took that, it added that shine to my hair. So that's why I like using this uh, and it smells really amazing. So it's really great if you're looking to um, use something that has a little bit of oil in it. It's a nice mist, but it doesn't weigh your hair down. One of my favorite oils has to be the Eva NYC. I use this all the time. I even have it here. So if I have flyaways or I need a little bit of added shine to my hair before I shoot a video, I have it right there to kind of calm my hair down. I love the stuff. It a little bit goes a long way. I use about a dime size and just rub it on my hands, in my hands like this, and then 
deposit it into the hair. I, I actually start from here. I don't put anything on the roots. I don't put any oils in the root area. Everything, all the oils and all the products that I use, I try to keep it um, from the, like this part down. And then if I need to, just kind of touch my hair with the residue, whatever's on my fingers, kind of touch my hair to tame the flyaways. It's like a, it's, it's like a treatment. It's like a hair oil treatment. So it's good for your hair and it just tames the hair after you style your hair. It has argan oil though. Want to caution you about argan oil. It can make the hair a little bit more um, brassy because I feel like argan oil can change gray hair a little bit to a more yellow Eaten. So make sure I try to put it mostly here where I have more color and just kind of keep it right here. I don't, I don't do any oils on my roots and stuff. So that's the only thing I don't, I'm, I'm not sure about argan oil. If it's really great for a gray hair because I feel like it makes the hair a little bit yellow over time. Um, but then if you're using purple shampoo and things like that, you should be fine. But just be, um, aware of that, that argan oil may cause your gray hair to uh, get a little bit yellow. And um, I have not experienced any yellowing from any of these other products. So I feel like these are pretty safe for anyone who has gray hair to use for their styling. And so that wraps up this video. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been talking for days. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that these products help you with uh, frizz control and taming your, your hair, whether you're styling it or you're leaving it natural. And um, if you have gray hair, whatever color your hair is, Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of video and this, if, if this video was helpful to you, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.